What's happening, y'all? Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. It is September 4th, episode 247, Labor Day, and we are getting ready to uh, get into the bookstore. Of course, it's a holiday, but it is also a retail shopping day. So, hey, come on out to the Christian Bookstore, Fig Tree Christian Bookstores, uh, 425 17th Street, uh, Suite Number 2. We are the Quad Cities, Illinois, Iowa, largest Christian bookstore. There are other bookstores, but we're the only Christian bookstore. So guess what? We are in God's creative power. We'll work for you. One of my favorite authors is uh, Charles Capps, incredible author. Uh, and today we are looking at, in his book, Learning to Release Your Faith in Words. Listen, most people have negative attitudes negative uh, mentalities, negative uh, psychological views. And so it affects how they talk. It affects uh, what God can do in and through their life. And so today, really quick, I want to give you guys a few lessons out of his book, uh, How to Learn to Release Your Faith in Words. Are you ready for this? Yeshua said, as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. Matthew eight thirteen. Listen, Largely and mostly in part, what happens to you is what you believe and what you say. Okay, I'm going to say that again. A lot of you think, oh, if it's meant to be, it's going to happen. No, 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 no. Oh, if it's, if God didn't want me to have it, he wouldn't give it to me. No, 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 no. That's incorrect. Those are all poor and bad uh, theological positions. The reality of it is, is large in part, you get what you say, you get what you believe. Okay. This is a spiritual law based on the same principle of seed time and harvest time. What do you mean? Your words are seeds. Your actions are seeds. Okay. Once again, your words are seeds. Your actions are seeds. Galatians 6, 7. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Let me say it like this. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man saith. That shall he also reap. Let me read it like this. Once again, God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man doeth, so shall he reap. You understand what I'm talking about? Your actions, your words are seeds. And you plant those actions in words. Okay? Don't be dismayed. Don't be misled. Don't be uh, lost in the sauce, pardon the pun. But your words are seeds. Okay? And what you say, you're planting. And what you do, you're planting. All right? Let me say it like this. Your faith talks, and when faith talks, it talks faith, not fear and not unbelief. Now, guess what? A lot of you, a lot of us, a lot of people have more faith in, in the negative things that happen around us than we do in positive things. And that's why you got people, oh, my life is horrible. Oh, my life stinks. Oh, here comes this day. And guess what? You're planting negative seeds, and you wonder why you get negative results. OK, learn to take the words of Yeshua personally, learn to take the words of the most high God personally, learn to take the word of God as in the original Hebrew, Greek and Aramaic scriptures personally. Yeshua tells you, listen to this, that you can have what you say if what you say lines up with the word of God comes from faith produced in your heart, committed through the word of God. Okay? Once again, Yeshua tells you that you can have what you say if what you say lines up with the word of God and you have hope and faith and trust and belief in the word of God. All right? Now, I'm not talking about gabbing and grabbing theology. I'm talking about lining up your words, lining up your actions with the word of God and you speak those things. OK. You speak those things. OK, do not speak the words of the enemy. Do not speak the words of the enemy. OK, you got to train yourself to speak God's word. I'm going to say it again. You got to train yourself to speak God's word. Ephesians 5.1 tells us to be imitators, to be copycats, okay? Be ye followers of the word of God, all right? That means 
uh, and the Greek word there means be a imitator. We are to do what? Imitate God as a child does his father. And if any of you have kids, you know that your child, the first way a child learns is by imitation, okay? Right or wrong, good or bad, they copy what you say and do, all right? And we should no less be after our father, the most high God, and we should copy, say, and do what he says and he does. Episode 247, we need to be thinking about what? I'm going to say it again. Learning to release your words in faith, training yourself to speak the word of God. All right. A couple quick points and I'm done. When you study the life of Yeshua, you find several important truths. Number one, he spent much time in prayer, praying about what? The word of God. Okay. He spoke accurately. Yeshua never spoke crooked speech. All right. Another point. Yeshua always spoke the end result. Okay, what's the end game? You hear me talk about it all the game. Talk, you hear me talk about it all the time. What's the end game? Okay, and when Yeshua spoke, he spoke the written word. Okay, he spoke that. All right, I'm gonna say this and I'm done. The word of God, the word of Yeshua, the word of the Holy Spirit is conceived in the heart. Okay, is conceived in the heart. All right formed by the tongue and spoken out of the mouth, full of faith, full of trust, full of belief in the Most High God is what creative power is all about. Not making up stuff, not creating new ideologies, not creating new gab it and grab it theology. No, I'm talking about learning the word of God and speaking the word of God in your life, over your life, through your life. All right. God bless you. God keep you. Episode 247. Train yourself to speak the word of God. Learn to release the word of God by faith, by what you say. Peace.